What's going on guys? I'll try to explain really quick the uniform cost search algorithm. Um, so we begin in the node S because that's the starting point. And then we have to, uh, we have three possibilities. So we're going to compare those values. So we have the from S, from S to N to Q and to M, we're going to have values two, four, and three. So from these three values, which one has less the less cost Two, right? So we're going to begin with that one. So from two to N to P, we're going this way now, we're going to have a cost of six. So, um, if we take a look here, we see that uh, there are two other possibilities that uh, we can find the end goal with less cost. So we're gonna traverse that one and see if we can find a better match. So from S to Q to G, this way, we find that uh, we can reach the end goal with the cost nine, with a cost of nine. That is already higher than this, so we do not. Uh, so the, this is already higher than this, so there might be a possibility that we could find a better, um, a better path with less cost. But so far, we have reached the end goal with the cost nine. So we have this option, and if we take a look here we also have this option. So between these two, because we have not traversed this one. So between these two, which one has the last cost three, right? So we're going to go with that one. So from S to M to we're going this way, Q. Um, we see that we have a cost of seven. So which one has, so which one between these two has the last cost? This one, right? So we're going to continue with that one. So we're going this way now between S and P Q So this, uh, if we traverse this one, we're going to have a cost of two, six of seven. Therefore, uh, we have an equal match here. So we can continue with this path. So we're going to traverse that one, Let me create some space here. So S N P Q. And then what do we have to do to reach our end goal is to traverse, uh, to uh, give a step back and then go to G. So from Q, we're going to go to G and that is going to give us a total cost of nine. So we ended up with a cost of nine using, um, using this path. Um, this cost is actually the same one as this one. So let's see if we can find a better alternative, a better pathway. Um, so between nine and seven, we see that seven is less. So there might be a possibility that this one has a better path uh, that costs less. So I'm going to go with that one. So from S to M to Q. So we're going this way now to G. So we have seven and then 12. So we have a cost of 12. That's a lot. So we see that nine. Um, so, so we see that, um, actually remember that we have this path that we have not visited. So between 12 and seven, which one has the less cost? So 
we see that seven, right? So when we got to this, so when we got to this point to nine, uh, we had two options left. We had the option of seven and the option of seven. So I chose to to go uh, to use this way, uh, but you can have initially started with this one. It's up to you. I don't want to confuse you. So, so far we have this one and this one as the end goals, right? So we have left with this path, so which is this one. So we're going to continue with that one and see if we can find a better path. Just to reiterate, we did this one here. Now we're going to do this one. So we have S and P. And then guess what? Which one's the next one? G. So this gives us a total cost of 268. And voila. So this one gives us a cost of eight, which is less than nine and which is less than 12. So we have found the best alternative, the best path that give us the less cost. So we can uh, end up the uniform cost search algorithm with, uh, with a cost of eight. Um, and let's see, we can say here that, um, let's say, so we can say here that the final output is going to be S from S to N to P to G. And that's it. This is going to give us a cost of eight. If you like this video, if you helped you in any way, please subscribe. Thank you.